Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, subscribe for content about data engineering, machine learning and life. Today I've got an exciting news for you. This is something that has so many implications for the areas of artificial intelligence and software engineering. OpenAI has just sold its state-of-the-art breakthrough machine learning algorithm GPT-3 to Microsoft for $1 billion. What is GPT-3? Why Microsoft? And what does that mean? GPT-3 is a state-of-the-art machine learning algorithm that was published about two months ago as we were speaking and it's absolutely crazy. Why? Let's have a look. Basically, it's a natural language processing algorithm that is capable of generating text from a set of instructions, which basically means that it can write legal contracts, write articles, write songs, write code, return search results based on the context of your query rather than the exact keyword match. Just to give you an idea, let's have a look at what one guy managed to achieve with this algorithm and published on his Twitter. Wow. Okay, that's unreal. Okay, here's the code. Yeah, there we go. The API at the moment is in private beta, which basically means that you have to request access to be able to test it. I requested the access about a week ago and I said that I want to test GPT-3's capabilities to show them to my YouTube audience. So hopefully I get it granted and then I will definitely make a video with my own examples of what you can do with GPT-3. A few cents on the company, because I think it's quite important. One of the most intriguing facts about OpenAI is that it was co-founded by Elon Musk. The second quite intriguing thing about OpenAI is that initially it was a non-profit organization and in its mission statement you can read OpenAI's mission is to ensure that artificial general intelligence, by which we mean highly autonomous systems that outperform humans at most economically valuable work, benefits all of humanity. So the idea was that this will be an open source code so that you and I can download it, test it, perhaps even improve it. But faced with one billion dollars, they changed their mind. I mean, I get it, it's hard to say no to a lot of money, right? And they justify this decision with quite interesting three arguments. One, they say they need money to fund their research. Fair enough. The second argument is a bit less reasonable. Other people would use the word bullshit, I suppose. They say that releasing this algorithm to people like you and me doesn't make sense because we will not be able to benefit from it. We will not know how to use it. It's too complex. It doesn't make sense to give us access to it. It's way better to give it to Microsoft. They will know how to use it. They will know how to take advantage of it. That's a little bit condescending, don't you think? And three, they say that by limiting the number of customers, they will be able to control the misuse of this technology, which again is, let's say, a fair argument. If you're wondering what are the potential cases of misuse of this algorithm, think in terms of generating sexist, racist, offensive content, fake news, stuff like that. Talking about misuse, I can't help but think about the general ethics of selling state-of-the-art technologies to private hands. Because think about it, if one day technology will manage to cure cancer, if technology will manage to elongate our lives to 200 years, if one day we manage to generate the AGI, artificial general intelligence, and if there are groups of people who have access to this technology, but then there are other groups of people who don't, then something went wrong. It's a bit like developing penicillin, but letting people die of 
pneumonia and sepsis. Of course, I'm extrapolating this a little bit here, but every time a breakthrough technology lands in private hands, I can't help but contemplate the consequences. And back to GPT-3, it's now exclusively owned by Microsoft. Well, it's exclusively licensed to Microsoft. To defend Microsoft and OpenAI a little bit, Microsoft said, we want to make sure that this AI platform is available to everyone, researchers, entrepreneurs, hobbyists, businesses, to empower their ambitions to create something new and interesting. I mean, as long as you can afford the subscription to Microsoft Azure, all good. On that note, I'm really excited and I'm looking forward to all the cool products that will happen on Microsoft Azure um, using GPT-3. I'm seeing a huge potential for two industries, legal and software engineering. In both of these industries, there is a lot of text that has to be written and it doesn't bring any value, but it just has to be there because that's the template and you have to write it. And the writing that text doesn't involve a deep understanding of the issue at hand. And here's where GPT-3 comes in and writes that stuff for you so that you can maximize the amount of time that you spend designing, creating, strategizing, rather than writing some variables or HTML code. So does that mean fewer jobs in software engineering in the future? I don't know, but definitely software engineering is changing. The nature of the work is changing and we will be writing less and less code. Software engineering will be more about gluing things together, gluing API systems together, and it's happening now. All right, guys, I have an unusual request this time. If you enjoyed watching my videos, could you share my channel with your closest friend? the person that just came to your mind. I would love to get to more people with my content because the more people are watching my videos, the more I feel obliged to produce quality content, the more I feel like sleeping less and creating more. So please help me sleep less. And for now, ciao.